Hey, what's up? It is DJ. Today we got a new and updated mods to take a look at for Farm Sim 22. In total, 20 mods were released today on the end game mod. -up. All platforms only got one new. It's super cool, but we did get 14 updates, including an update down in Missouri, as well as PC and Mac players getting one new and four updates. In today's video, we'll take a look at each mod, including customization of features. That way you can tell, uh, well, if you want it or not. <laughs> you do. It's awesome. Let's check it out. Starting off with new ones for all platforms. Well, the new one for all platforms today, but boy, is it one. This is the lizard ws v s now this is the wine span vehicle system it's basically the next app but it's unbranded it's all lizard and stuff like that it's from dogface and bdbssb uh, now those modders right there we've got some eu designs we also have us design we have designs for colors we have all the different spots at the bottom i'd like to put this at like an onyx black and then you have your main color here this could be anything the one i'm going to use today is a case age red but if you prefer to make this john deere for whatever reason well you could easily do that there you go <laughs> It's got 1,156 horsepower variable transmission, 625 liters of fuel, 25 miles an hour. It's fast and it weighs 18.5 tons. Now, once you've got this piece of equipment for about $400,000, then you're going to want yourself one of these. This is separate. This is the WSVS HV23. It's got 23,000 liter capacity for your combine. This is basically the bin from the combine harvester. Over here, we could change up our colors for this as well. So if we wanted to go with the John Deere green there, and then we could also change up uh, this color right here. Ah! going to be around towards the back so yeah you can change that up too if you want and once you've got both of those then you could buy one of these so this is the hook lift trailer this will actually transport this guy right here you might be able to see it's got hooks on the side and you could hook it up and put it on here because you can actually transport this stuff but you can't transport the vehicle itself with the other piece installed i might just have them in the field right now oh it's so cool at the end of the day it's just a combine harvester. So your pipe goes out exactly the same. You can use any header that you want with this because it's got more power than anything else ever. We've got a couple different setups for wheels. So we have front wheel steering or all wheel steering. It kind of goes in a circle. If, you, uh, if you've got this kind of set for like all wheel steering, for example, it will basically just do a big old circle around. You could do uh, a corn header. You could do a regular grain head like I'm going to show off here. I've just got the base game uh, case IH. And uh, we grab that. Need to unfold the tool or harvester. Folding is not allowed while the auger. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Can we do this now? No. Ah. <laughs> yeah, don't tell me what to do. Bam. Now we could go. And we can even hire a worker. Just like I just did right there. There it is. It's going. Uh, it will rock and roll at the same speed as your header. So, for example, if you guys are using the tool hot control for headers mod from DD Mod Passion, that will work perfectly fine with this. You can even use this like with the Colossus headers, for example. And remember, it'll only go up to 25 miles an hour. So there is that at least. And well, I'm not fast farming because I'm not fast farming. Also, you need to be careful with trees. I got real lucky there. Real lucky. As you can see, it also drops your uh, your stuff. So straw is being dropped down there at the bottom. It's just, uh, it's very cool. It is very, very, very cool. If we come out in the middle of the field here and we turn this on, I'm going to see what our total circle is, what we can hit. I'm also fast farming right now, so don't worry too much about me. Uh, there we go. So there is our circle. Lines up pretty much perfect, especially looking at the straw being dropped. Yeah, it, man, that holds it, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Let's take a look here at the header unit itself and actually how everything runs. So we've got this piece and we've got everything else too. Let's go ahead and set this to grabbing a hold. We will drive around and pull just kind of right beside this. I've tried to use a truck that's a little bit easier to drive. We'll, we'll see how this goes. We'll get up close to it not close enough the arms don't have any collisions so don't worry a whole lot about it there we go we could detach ah yeah that's quite difficult indeed isn't it and they will unfold and bring it back in uh, it is very very heavy but it allows us to transport so now we've got this piece on here uh, 
you you may want to just transport your header separately. I'm not sure it'd be a good idea to put it on here. And then we also have this unit as well. We'll go ahead and grab ourselves one of those. And here we are. Let's turn it on to see all the cool stuff that we can do. So we have change driving direction. And you can see here that it's kind of, well, doing its own thing. It's literally changing what it does right in the middle and then brings the wheels in. I, I, I feel like there could have been an easier way to do it, but uh, hey, we're good. Uh, we still also here have front and rear wheel steering, or front, rear, front and all wheel steering. Uh, it will still go 25 miles an hour, but one of the nice things about this, <laughs> yeah, maybe don't do that, uh, is it'll actually fit in a single lane, which is pretty darn cool. Uh, it will also try to tip if you do some wild stuff with it. And it'll do a little bit off-roading too. It is very unstable, <laughs> at least in this configuration. Anything else we can do? Nah, that's about it. Uh, we can try to drive, but it will not allow us to drive completely while we're trying to unfold. Eh, well, at least there's that. And the header that we're going to show with this is the Gloss Corio 2475C. And if you don't know that, well, it's the 18 meter one. I made it a New Holland. So then order of operations, because there's, well, quite a few things that we need to figure out. First things first, let's get this thing off of here. Have it in place. Then we need to unattach from it. Oh, no, I unattached from the wrong thing. There we go. And then we could Please stop, just leave me alone. Why? Why do we have to do these things? Leave me alone, you header thing. Then we will slowly but surely get this thing into position. The good thing is, well, it is what it is. So it's really easy to manage. There we go, we got it into position. Uh, again, with this one, we can open up and we can even open up the uh, auger there. And because it's completely open in the front, you can hook up to any size header that you want which is why I've gone for an 18 meter corn head. There's also not corn in that field right there, so I need to figure that out. So there we go, we've got that, and let's go and unfold the header. There we go, change the colors on here. I figured it would probably be a little bit easier that way. At least it looks better, that's for sure. And we've got corn in here now. I don't know how that happened, but let's go ahead and turn it on. And now we are harvesting corn. Now I do have a mod that gives me straw from the corn, so don't worry too much, but look at that. You can break into the field just from the side like that. You, that's what I'm talking about. This is super cool. It drives like you normally would expect. If you're going front wheel steering only, uh, maneuverability is definitely less than if you're using all wheel steering, that's for sure. This is super cool, man. I could see a lot of people utilizing this. Plus with a 25,000 liter capacity on it. I mean, well, you're good to go, aren't you? At least for a little while. Jumping over to our updates for all platforms. From Celebuki, we have Alma, Missouri, US version 1003. Added a snowy road when it snows and went asphalt during rain. Increased the number of cows, sheep, and the amount of food in the animal barns. Increased the selling prices of the train station points so that the train has become more attractive for selling your goods. The farmhouse in the main farm is retextured and usable garage has been added. New cow farm near town was retextured and usable garage was added to that farmhouse as well. They've added some placeable farmhouses with usable garages and color selectable walls. Some of the trees were stuck too far into the ground and have been raised so that removing them, the fields can be joined more easily and herbicide, fertilizer, seeds, liquid fertilizer, and lime tanks are now available as placeables in the container section. These changes do not require new game saves, so you can keep playing and you're good to go. Sure Short update for Fox Farms version 1007. A new save game is required for this, so heads up there. They've improved the AI driving, improved the premium edition compatibility. Cows have been added to the animal trader, carrot added to the map, and machines added for carrots. And from Poor Boy and Catalyzer, we have Crater Lake 22 version 1501. New productions have been added. They've also added materials and other tweaks and fixes. The old save game should work, but as always, Poor Boy Modding does recommend a new save. We got some equipment like the Fent 1000 Vario series from Schnibble Modding version 1002, adjusted the sound volume and minor bug fixes. The New Holland T7 T7000 series version 131, minor visual bugs have been fixed, front fenders are removable now, and narrow option added to rear fenders. And the Lizard 44202 55 57 1.2 
added Kubota DLC passenger seat compatibility and the 5557 AC and 4320 UST 5453 modifications have been added. From Yoast Modding, the Liftable Bells Pack mod version 112 changed the dimensions for square and round grass, hay, straw, and silage bells to support base game equipment and other mods, and they've added 2,000 and 5,000 liter bells to the John Deere CP690. Next up is the Romaco U436HP version 101 corrected the weight of the machine to the real weight, added in new support wheel tires, and changed the price to be close to the real price. We have a very similar update to the U671 standard version 101, corrected the weight of the machine and changed the price. And an update to the Romaco U436HHP44.5 MPACK version 1.1. They've improved the wheel behavior in the premium version. New tires have been added to the premium version. The weight of the machines has been improved to real weight. Disc animations have been improved. They've also improved the torsion hinge on semi-suspended versions, added the possibility to detach the semi-suspended version, and added the possibility to detach the semi-suspended version in a foldable position. And a nice update to the old water trailer version 1.1. Improved the textures, new color configuration, improved the model, and fixed AI. We also have a couple animal pins. First is the large outdoor chicken coop version 1.1. Added second larger chicken coop. From Omatana, we have the open air garden version 1.2. Added medium size and large garden. And Omatana's open air garden was updated to version 1.2. Added medium size and large garden. And your last update for all platforms, grass drying version 1.1. Silage can now also be made for from hay and bills can now also be processed. Jumping over to our new ones for PC and Mac players, only have one, the Lizard Cow Barns Expandable Pastures Ready mod from Mr. Hector. This is basically the Lizard Cow Barns mod that's for all platforms. However, it has been made ready for the Expandable Pastures mod. And we've got a couple updates for PC and Mac players as well. The first one is a map that starts with a K and I don't know how to say it. Oh, version 1001. New game save is recommended for this. They've added Cav Farms for Mr. Hector. Shelters are obviously intended to make sense only for calves as the mod name suggests so in use with pc mod that adds them or a map that includes them and many small visual and other fixes wait so so could we just add those on our own as a mod i'm confused next is the uh muthing mum 300 vario version 1.1 power requirement has been adjusted little fixes and operating instructions tank with ic can now be shown and hidden that is pretty cool additional units version 1001 fix the water bar showing even when not intended or needed in the animals tab fix lure error attempt to call local super function table value whatever that is and they've added support for target fill level straw harvest pack and def pack and your Last mod today, NetRap add-on version 3211. Bug fixes and changes. We have fixed the empty roll of NetRap and fixed Baylor with NetRap deactive. And also, I think the DD Mod Passion has added bug fixes and changes to uh, their uh, changelog here. So maybe that's something going forward. And that is it. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, drop a like, get subscribed if you're new, enjoy the Go Ahead fan. Make sure that notification bell's on as well. That way you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel. I missed a few days here and there, but I'm trying to get back to doing daily videos and really enjoying the Gold Crest series. If you haven't seen it, go check out the first video. I got the second one coming out tomorrow, so stay tuned for that. Otherwise, just have an awesome weekend. Do something fun. Hey, we'll see you later.